thank you so much for watching this video and in today's video we are going to talk about the documentation part in your rental process i have already made a video on house hunting so this part is only relevant once you have finalized an apartment so first things first you will need a broker to complete this process most of the apartment rental process is only taken care by a broker so the first charge that you will have to pay is the broker charge this is normally 5 to 7% of your rental amount It can go as high as 4000 dirhams plus vat vat is generally 5% now let's talk about the payment method There is only one payment method for all the rental processes in Dubai which is check so you can pay your rent only in checks so in the apartment listing you can find how many checks you can pay the rent by you can also negotiate on the basis of checks so for example if a listing says pay by two check you can tell them that you will be able to pay the entire amount in one check and you will easily be able to cut down the rent by 2000 or 1000 dirhams once you have finalized the apartment the next thing is the tenancy contract the tenancy contract is made by your broker it will list all the points of your tenancy like how will be the renewal what uh, what is the deposit what all things comes under the contract so all the details it is a 2 3 pager uh, agreement i would advise you to read all the points mentioned in the agreement and understand it with your broker so whenever he comes for signing the agreement first you will sign sign and then your owner will sign so before you sign check all the points talk to him if you have any confusion i would highly recommend you to clear it out at that point now once the tenancy contract is signed the next thing you are going to do is go for your ijari now before you go for the ijari and after you have signed your tenancy contract you will have to pay the amount so there are two amounts that you will have to pay here one is the broker charge this will be paid in check as well and the second thing is your first check so if you are paying the rent by two checks th this is where you will pay the first check and if you are paying the entire amount in one check then that check will also be paid right now the next step is to go for the ijari Now Ijari and Deva happens at one center there are five centers which offers this facility you can go to any center you don't need an appointment for this and mostly this part is taken care by your broker but you will have to go with them and this entire process will take you about 30 minutes there are lots of counters so there is no waiting you have to go on the counter you have to tell them that you have come for your Ijari and Deva and they will be able to send you at one counter Now before we move on what is ijari and what is deva so ijari is nothing but rental agreement and deva is nothing but dubai electricity and water association you have to register yourself in both of these whenever you rent an apartment or you renew your apartment so let's talk about the documents needed in this process these documents mostly your broker will give you but still just for your knowledge uh you will need your emirates id you will need your passport you will need your visa copy the owner will give you his passport and his visa copy and his emirates id all of these personal documents need to be attested and the sign should be visible and the sign should match your emirates id signature and your passport signature as well the next thing that the owner will give you is the title deed a title deed is nothing but the proof that the owner gives you that he owns this property and then of course you will take your tenancy contract that your broker will give you it will have now the signature of your owner as well deposit for both ijari and deva comes to about uh, 2130 uh, dirhams approximately the next thing is that if you don't have a chiller free apartment i have spoken about this in my house on hunting video so if you want to know in details you can watch that video uh, but if you don't have a chiller free apartment then you will also have to pay district cooling deposit uh this will be mentioned in your agreement so as per your agreement you can pay that now once all these documents are completed the next part is the gas or cooker that you have in your apartment so if you have a electric cooker or stove then the bill will come in the deva but if you have a gas stove 
or cooker then you will have to also register under that particular agency uh, you will get this detail from your broker like which agency is there in your apartment and then you can send them an email they will ask you for certain documents you can send it to them the gas stove and cooker charges are only once in three months so before your third month a person will come to check your meter the meter is located in your apartment and they will read uh, they will take the reading and then you will get the bill for three months at once that's all for this video i hope this video was useful for you until next time Bye-bye.